Hello and today I'm going to talk about the 4xCCU Master Controller and its scene store capabilities. We have a button here on the main menu that you may have seen in the past and it's called scene store and when we select scene store come back here so you can see um, we open up the scene store window and on this window here uh, we can do a load or a save uh, of all four camera CCU positions all at the same time so that we can uh, when we do a save we save CCU A, CCU B, CCU C and CCU positions and we save everything so you get no choice you get just everything gets saved because all the decision making is all done when you do a load so you can see down here we have we can do a save we can do a load these are all the parameters that we can select when we want to do a load. And these are the six, CC, six scene store positions for all four CCU controls. So when we, um, when we initially enter in here, we've got these window up the top here. If I can come back here. And see. So the, um, the letters that show in here indicate where we're going to load from. So D means we're going to load from the previously saved D CCU position. Um, a C in here will indicate that we are going to load from the previously saved C, C position being the third position. And the uh, same with the second position and then the same with the first position. So each of the four boxes is, is, are the destination. So the first box, where the A is, is CCU position A. The second box, where the B is, is CCU position B. The third box is CCU position C. These are the destinations. And the fourth box is CCU position D. So basically what we're saying here is the from we're getting is the A. So if I actually go down and here and say A in all of them, what that's basically going to say is that we're going to store in CCU position A, B, C and D all what was saved in CCU position A. So if you went and set up this particular camera here with all your um, presets that you want, all your settings, all, your, um, all these various settings that are available, which are all stored in position A, that will then load... Oh, that will then load to all four CCU positions. So we can um, we can say, um, if we, we just select um, that as a dash, that means nothing's gonna go, nothing's gonna come out of, um, um, or get, nothing's gonna get loaded into CCU positions B, C or D. They're, they're left now with nothing, so nothing's going to alter those cameras. So if you now have a look at the camera I'm going to um, I'm going to load these are incident is camera A, um, camera one camera two camera three camera four which is CCU A B C and D. So if I now go and select a scene store, there's one of, there's six scene stores here. I can then go um, select I'm selected position number two uh, or scene store number two, and then I'm going to tell it to load. I'm going to tell it to load every parameter and and if you if I do that you'll see that it's going to go to a particular setting that I that I had actually saved um, to explain that a bit more uh, if I now tell that to load um, A to A, B to B, C to C and D to D you'll see and I use this second position to get this second scene store again you'll see that I've actually made four separate um, color grades for each of the four cameras to so I can I quickly identify um, the grades or the or the CCUs um, and of course I can just quickly I know in this first um, scene store position uh, I've got the um, the four cameras as a matched set so if I now recall that you'll see now it's called all four CCU grades um, as per um, my initial um, settings so you can have all six scene store positions can have six can have six totally different grades for each of the four cameras and of course you can have as I said you can have uh, position A saved can go to all four 
um, position B save, you can go to all four. I'll show you that in a moment on a diagram. Um, I just also wanted to quickly mention that each of these scene stores, being scene store one, two, three, four, five, six, can be individually named. And um, I'm not quite sure how I can show you that without having to. I've got to use a, a shift button. Let me see if I can use my fingers here. So if I hold down the shift button and say select um, the first one. Now we've gone into a text entry um, area and here we can um, give it the name that we want using the keyboard uh, and then we can then um, save it. You can see this has actually opened up, um, my finger must have touched the second button. But um, So here you can uh, you can enter, type in the name, what, what you want and whatever and then when you finish you can hit enter and then that number is then, um, oh, that number is then, that name is then saved in the box. Um, down here. Now you'll see a bit more on that a little later on um, and um, uh, I just wanted to explain to you some of these, um, some of the methodology. Um, you see here when you do a save you're saving all four CCU positions which are defined by these boxes here and I've got allocated camera 1, camera 2, camera 3, camera 4 to CCU position A, B, C and D. And each of those CCU positions is each one of these four um, controls. So we've got A, B, C, and D. So to simplify or make it a bit more obvious, camera A, camera two, camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four, the CCU A, CCU B, CCU, CCU D. So when I did a save, camera one saved into memory bank CCU A. CCUB went to CCUB memory bank, CCUC went to CCUC uh, memory bank, and same with, with camera 4, CCUD went to D. So when we do a recall, these are the recalls. So if I selected um, the settings as, as I just showed you, we've got the uh, the letters at the front indicate the, the origination or with the source. So that's the source's CCU position A that was saved is going to go to in the, in the box behind is the A box. So A is going to go to A, B is going to go to B, C is going to go to C, D is going to go to D. And so when we do a recall, you'll see that we've got A going to A, or, C, or camera 1, B is going to B, C is going to C, and D is going to D. So that's that's just generally recalling all four camera CCU positions uh, into all four cameras. But then we have the variations here, you can see we've got CCU position A, this is when you've got AAA selected, so it's going to go to CCU position A, B, C and D. So that one CCU saved position A is going to go to all four CCU positions. Uh, another example is CCU B. So whatever we saved in CCU B when, when loaded can go to all four cameras as well. Uh, you can also do um, a CCU position B you can load into CCU position A. Um, if that's if you uh, if you've lined up a camera and they're all matching cameras, and you've lined up CCU A, you can then save that to um, any camera, or or the same with B. You might have lined up CCU uh, camera B, uh, camera two, saved it, and then you can then recall any to any or all of the other cameras. The same with um, here. This is um, this is loading what was saved in CCU position A. You're loading it into position B or camera two in in the case of what I'm doing here. And then oh, we don't want that one. Um, so um, that's pretty much um, CCU um, low CCU um, um, scene stores. Now I'm going to come out of there and I just want to now show, quickly introduce you to um, settings here. We go to system settings, you'll notice there's a load save here. Now what this does, this gives you the ability to be able to um, take every one of those six scene stores that you're using and save them to a file. So what that gives you is gives you the ability of saving hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of um, specialized scene stores um, that you've saved for different uh, environments 
and you can save them to the built-in um, micro SD card and you can recall them at any time and um, I'm going to discuss this more in another video but I just wanted to quickly introduce you to that and um, you can see here as I scroll down um, each of the um, each of the files that I've got here if you wanted to know what's in them you don't have to load them to see because these have um, you can actually hit hold down the alt the shift button and it shows you the 16 store names that you have in that file so you can see here I've got file 7 uh, which is the name of the file on the disk um, it's got six uh, scene stores and these are the six names that you have so if you can't remember what file you saved um, the um, settings into you can see here I've got six different sporting arenas that uh, have different six different uh, scene store setups so if I actually hold my finger down it shows you the name uh, of the scene store files that are in there um, we can then you can just scroll down and select any one of any file at all and um, hit the button and there's your um, there's your name so that I'll cover all that in um, another video dedicated to like the load save um, which is um, in the system setup down down here system setup and um, this these um, load saves they're non-destructive um, that is all they do is load everything into the scene stores it's not until you actually go into scene store itself um, that's when um, when you can then recall the individual scene stores and load them up to the camera um, I, I feel this video is going to need a lot more explanation especially when you're you dealing with the from and to um, scene store um, uh, CCU positions but that will be better explained in writing when you read the uh, user guide um, more videos coming really soon